Iranian state television announced on Sunday that the country was abandoning its commitments to the 2015 nuclear deal that saw Iran suspend its nuclear program in return for the easing of sanctions. In neighboring Iraq, the parliament has approved a resolution to expel U.S. forces as the consequences of last week's U.S. assassination of Iranian General Qasem Soleimani unfold. The move comes as the U.S.-led coalition said it was pausing operations against ISIL in Iraq as it turns to protecting U.S. personnel following rocket attacks on the Green Zone in Baghdad and Iraqi bases on Saturday. The government should end the presence of any foreign forces and prevent them from using the lands, water and sky of Iraq. The vote in the Iraqi parliament, mainly backed by Shia lawmakers, is to expel around 5,000 U.S. troops who are in the country to help fight ISIL in a mission that started four years ago. The government should approach the United Nations and the Security Council to submit a complaint against the U.S. because of the violations against the sovereignty of Iraq. Sunday's vote is non-binding and not final until Iraq's Prime Minister signs the bill. Additional legislation will be needed to make the order to expel the U.S. forces official. Already there are fears that this could open a space for a possible resurgence of ISIL, a group that has been battered but not eliminated. Let's remember the unofficial coalition that worked together to take down ISIL was made up of Kurdish forces, Iraqi Shia militias, the Iraqi army and U.S. troops. U.S. President Donald Trump's decisions have shattered that coalition. The Kurds feel betrayed after Trump removed U.S. troops from northern Syria last October. That cleared the way for Turkey to attack Kurdish forces. The U.S. continues to double down that going after Soleimani was the right decision to make. The Iranians make the choice to respond. I hope that they don't. President Trump has made clear what we will do in response if they do, that our response will be decisive and vigorous, just as it has been so far. President Trump has continued to make threats against Iran, including possibly attacking Iranian cultural sites, which could be considered a war crime. But right now, the assassination of the Iranian general has raised more questions than answers. And this is just the beginning. Toby Muse, CGTN, Washington.